Welcome to Ground Control. We are ready to start our conversion of this Chuck glider into a motorized RC glider. Um, the first configuration I'm going to test with is going to be a pusher motor on this. Um, I'll have diagrams and templates and stuff for you to download if you want to do this project. But the first thing I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to use a coping saw. I've never used a coping saw before, but it has a very, very thin blade and you're supposed to be able to to saw in, cur in curves with it. So what I want to do to begin with is I want to go ahead and make my modifications to the fuselage that I'm going to need to make. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off this canopy. I'm going to follow this little black ridge that outlines the canopy. It's a raised ridge. And so I'm going to cut off the main body of this canopy with this coping saw, if this coping saw will work. I don't know if it's going to work on EPP foam or not, but we're going to give it a try. If this doesn't work, then I will have to try something else. And then I'm going to hollow it out a bit, and this is going to be our compartment for our flight battery. So, let me move the wing out of the way and the stabilizer out of the way. And so when you're cutting with a coping saw, you need to make sure that you are level, side to side, top to bottom, in order to make these cuts. Let's see if this is going to work or not. not looking really good. Looks like it wants to rip it more than saw it. Yeah, no, cup install is not going to work. It is just ripping up the foam. Alright, um, on to Plan B. Okay, the coping saw was a huge failure. So what I'm doing now is I am going with my X-Acto knife, which means that I am going to have to cut it from both sides to get this canopy off. And this is going to be a slow, grueling, time-consuming process so I'm gonna go ahead and pause it here and then when I get this canopy off I will come back and we will take a look at it okay um, after two or three passes around this canopy I was able to cut it off and if you can see inside there it's very interesting they have a piece of foam coming up this this foam for the canopy feels much softer than the rest of the foam. Um, and it looks like this uh, little riser right here is what was holding this, this canopy on. And it has a huge ball bearing in it for weight. So I'll be interested to see. Get this ball bearing out. I'll be interested to see just how much that ball bearing weighs. So I'm going to pause it here again. Um, I wish I would have started with the X-Acto knife. I would have gotten this um, looking much better. But um, I'll know better next time, won't I? So, um, oh, this table is really unlevel. So I'll go ahead and pause it here. I'm going to get a digital scale out so we can weigh that ball bearing and see how much weight they had in the front. It looks like... Yeah, it looks like that that canopy cover, the ball bearing was right up front. So, um, may have to see how much that's going to lighten the load in the front. That may enable us to, to, to use a little larger battery. So, I'll be back with a scale. Okay, I've got my digital scale out. Let's see how much this ball bearing weighs. 7.23 grams.
then 1.24, 7.24 grams. So that's pretty significant considering the two cell battery I plan on using for this is about 17 grams in weight. So um, we're looking at over a third the weight of that battery. So um, it looks like without this ball bearing in there, um, we're going to be able to remove that ball bearing, put a micro FPV system on it, and probably still save about two and a half grams. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to go ahead with the X-Acto blade. I'm going to hollow out the inside of this canopy so that it will have space for my battery. And I will also be cutting, I will also be cutting this foam clip that was used to hold the canopy on. I'll be removing that and then gluing this um, soft EPP foam in and keeping that as part of that canopy cover. So, all right, I'll start working on that and then I will show you what the end result looks like. Okay, I got this canopy hollowed out pretty well. I need to, I need to hollow out a little bit more. I've got to take it's really weird to work with um, can you see all those foam beads in there it's basically just a conglomeration of foam beads it doesn't look like I don't know if there was a lot of air when they you know when they molded this when they injected it but uh, I'm probably gonna have to coat that with something to keep it from coming apart but this is really strange stuff to work with so what i'm doing is just little by little i'm carving out if you can see that i'm carving out the inside of this canopy i did cut off the piece of foam that was holding this this uh canopy in and i'm probably going to have to hollow out a little bit of this bottom here for this battery i think that uh I think if I hollow that out, I don't know, maybe two or three millimeters worth. I'll show you what I have right now as far as the battery goes. This is a two cell um, 400 milliamp battery that I'm hoping to use with this. And I'll show you what I have right now. If you look, it's pretty close. It's pretty close to where I need it to hold the battery but I also want to have you know some room to move the battery fore and aft if I need to to change the weight on the nose so so I'm going to hollow out a bit of this back space right back here you see what it's, where it's curved on the inside I'm going to square that off on the inside and make it so that I can move this battery I would like to have at least 10 to 15 millimeters worth of um, movement on this battery if I needed to move it fore or aft to get my CG, you know, correct. Now, when I when I first um, looked at this and how I wanted to set it up, I had the battery pushed all the way back to get the CG just right with this 400 milliamp battery. And with the ball bearing removed, that's a significant amount of weight. This battery is probably going to have to be moved forward quite a bit. Or else I'm going to, I'll have to add some nose weight. You know, one of the two. I may have to put the ball bearing back in. But um, I want to get this set up so that I have enough movement so I could change the CG if I need to. If I want to put in a little lighter battery, a little heavier battery, I want to be able to move it back and forth. So... I'm going to continue to hollow this out. Um, you can see the profile, see the inside of it. Um, this is definitely going to have to be coated with something because I can get these beads just to pop out of there. And it's very difficult to work with. I'm kind of surprised, but uh, it's not easy to cut, even with an X-Acto blade, because it just gives, you know. Um, it's, not, um, it's not rigid enough, really, so... Anyway, I'm going to continue to work on that. When I get it where I need it, I will bring you guys back and show you before I move on to the next part of the fuselage.